Okay, I want you to hear. When I speak the truth, many people don't like it. When we talk about our ancestors, the people that died, the people that are dead, our people that are dead, when we talk about them, we are telling you that there is nothing evil about them. This woman is here. She's an elderly person. She's here to confirm that the, the father-in-law and the mother-in-law they are not they were not going to church they they didn't have bible or anything but they didn't want to serve idol it's not all our ancestors that served idol but if you see how this generation is sending holy ghost fire to our ancestors you would think that they were the worst people that ever lived on earth there are many of them that are innocent I gave you an example of my ancestor who used to walk inside the bush and the leaves are telling him, do this, do this. He was innocent. He was helping people with the power that God gave to him. Such people are dead. We come in this generation where there is a rampant of Holy Ghost fire and the blood of Jesus. All your ancestors, Holy Ghost you are a fool. You can never disconnect yourself from your root. Life is like a tree. Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Can I talk to you? Life is like a tree. When you see a mango tree like this, very beautiful and it has bore a lot of nice fruits nice mango fruits you you want to pluck it and eat know that many things play their part in that beautiful fruit that you are seeing the one the beautiful fruit that you are seeing is yourself the beautiful tree that you are seeing is what people see but under there are people that are playing the greatest role they are under they are called the roots and the tap roots you are a tree when somebody comes and tell you your ancestors we are worshiping mommy Ota, your ancestors we are killing people your ancestors we are doing this. we are going to cut you from them do you know what they do when you get a tree and cut it from the root what happened to that tree? What happened? The tree will die. Those of you that did agriculture, when you want to cut it and you don't want it to die immediately, you can dig a hole from there, but make sure that you cut the root and cut the root. It will start dying gradually gradually the reason why africa is not progressing we are all created like any other person all white people they are like us chinese they are like us asians all of them they are like us but the only reason why we africa we are not bearing fruit is because we have cut the root Disconnect yourself from your ancestor. That is cutting the root. There is no tree that can bear fruit if the root is not there. The root has a lot of work they are doing on the ground for you to be successful. Somebody can see the success. Oh, this mango is so nice. They don't know. It's not the tree. It's not the branches. The secret behind that beautiful mango is on the roots. When you cut it, you wither. The reason why many of you are poor is because you disconnected yourself from your roots. Now you are a withered human being. You go here, doors are closed. You go here, doors are closed. You go here, doors are closed. How can doors open when your root is cut? Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Are you hearing what you are saying? Was it there before yesterday? We are at the uh, we are at the site. A very powerful Anglican reverend came to the site. When I say powerful, if I mention his name, many of you will know him here. He came to the site to see me. And he told me that I've been fighting. I've been looking for a visa to go to the USA. For many years, I've been searching for visa to go for. Usually, Anglican priest is easy. Once you go and present, they give it to you. It's like Roman Catholic. They give it to you, looking at a huge organization that is backing you. He said, I've tried and I'm tired. Somebody, a, a, a priest like him, told him to say, go and look for Sia one. He asked the, the, the priest, say, what, see one, how? The priest gave him a video where I was preaching about our ancestors. Embracing our loved ones that are dead. Because they have roles that they are playing in our life spiritually. After watching that thing, he came. When he came, we sat down and we are discussing. He said to me, that I, I said, where is your father? I said, my father is dead. My father is no longer alive. I said, oh, what was your relationship with him? He said, no, it was okay. I am the one that buried him. I said, okay. I hope you stay on him. Or because all the churches have spoiled today. The Roman Catholic, the only hope that we had, I used to respect that church, thinking that they are the one that will help us here. In Africa. Adoration has destroyed everything. If you go to Roman Catholic now, they even prophesy more than us, Pentecostal. Adoration has messed up everything. It has entered in, in, in Anglican. So, I, I asked him, do you honor him? Do you respect him? He said, no, ah, the Bible says it's appointed unto us once to die. After that judgment, do what? You fail to honor your father that loves you. The father that spent millions for you to go to school. Sometimes your father is hungry. He has not eaten, but he wants to pay your school fees. Sometimes your father is doing a job that he's not supposed to do, just to make sure that he pays your school fees. You fail to honor him, but you are able to honor Abraham. God of Abraham. Are you mad? Abraham, is he not an ancestor? Was he not a human being? Was Abraham God? God of Jacob. Who is Jacob? Was Jacob not a human being? Didn't he die? God of David, I am the son and the seed of David. David was an adulterer. When David see you and your wife and see that your wife is very, very beautiful, ah, I say, ah, my friend, I want this your wife. Or you say, no, sir, please. Now nice. say, okay, don't worry. Tomorrow he will tell his soldiers to send you to war. They will send you to the war. They will kill you. He will go and occupy your wife. You are proud to answer the son of an adulterer, but you are not proud to answer the name of your parents. Before you disconnect yourself from your root, disconnect yourself from Abraham. There are people, I, <laughs> the president of Kenya, was in Kenya. Everything was going well. He was ruling very, very well. Everything was going well. Kenya was growing. Kenya was actually becoming the economic hub of Africa. He went to Israel to go and fool himself. He went to pray in Israel. Every African country is looking for money. One million dollars is a lot of money for many African countries. A whole president will collect his ministers his family and fly to Israel that he want to go and pray in Israel. He will go there. White people will fool him. Carry small, 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 you are fooling yourself. 
God is everywhere. God is not in Israel. God is in you. Our forefathers had God here already. God has been here. He went to, he went to Israel. After wasting taxpayers' money, millions upon millions in the name of going to pray, he came back. Today, there is a revolution in Kenya. For the first time in the history of Kenya, there is a revolution. There is protest. People are being killed, slaughtered like chicken. It started happening after he went to Israel. That's why any African leader that goes to Israel to pray is a fool. Don't you know that your body is the temple of what? If you want to see God, it's here. It's not here. It's not in this big building. That's why I tell you, a good Christian, a Christian that wants to be successful in life, a Christian that is wise, can only go to church once in a week. <laughs> 